And now, Pastor Femi Fasheru, National Superintendent, KICC, joins us in the studio. It's good to have you join us. Thank you. All right, so first and foremost, the Sultan of Sokoto has blamed politicians for uh, instigating and causing the religious crisis in the country for their selfish interests. What's your view on this? I'm not sure that the crisis in the country can be um, put on um, a particular th a group of people. I think the responsibility of the country still rests on the president of, uh, of the country. And um, five years ago, um, I believe so strongly that the Lord spoke to me about um, the, the coming election then. And um, the scripture says that the, the young would see vision while the hold will dream dreams. Mm -hmm. We need vision in Nigeria when we have leadership of dreamers rather than uh, visionaries. Mm. You will have crises everywhere. Nigeria, um, wherever you turn, is a teary country, is a teary nation. People are crying, the young is crying, the old is crying at the moment. What are we saying? Somebody kidnapping somebody on the road? Um, is that politician? No. Some young people who do not have job are trying to just survive. And they know that if they, they kidnap someone, they put a couple of costs through, um, they will get paid. They were just trying to make money. When you look at everything that is going on in our country, it all has to do with somebody wanting wanting money hmm. so it's the state of the of the nation so you're saying bad governance is responsible for what is happening a governance without vision ah interesting what are some of the things apart from the fact that you're saying bad governance are there not other things like lack of education ignorance that is fully widespread uh, there is no orientation there's no history or installation of values in our young ones so it's more like uh, we're, we're literally just on our own. Could that also be part of the problem? It's, it is, because there is no vision. There is no laid, laid out plan. There is the other day I heard um, um, Ashwa Yutinobu talking about a blueprint for legal states. And he did say about some other governors following it, and he expects some other governors to follow it. Um, that was interesting to me, because we can't have four-year vision for this country. We can't have a year vision for this country. We need a 30-year vision. We need 50-year vision. We need somebody who is going to think far and not just think about what you can get, what can get you your seat back in another four years. That is the problem we have in this country. We are not thinking about the country. We're not thinking about generations to come. And now, this generation that are ruling the country at this time, look at their age group, of their age... Um, the, 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 yes, look at the age range right now. And then, we now have some other generations coming. And they have no plan for this, that generation. That's why our educational system is the way it is. Go to any Nigerian university right now is a sorry case. Of course, most of our politicians don't put their kids even in Nigerian schools. So um, we have a problem. We have a crisis coming. And if we don't do something quick and begin to have a vision for generations to come, we will be shocked with what will happen in Nigeria. Where do religious leaders come in here to? salvage situation, whether we like it or not, religion has a role to play. If the religion has a role to play, the, the, the solution is in the Bible. How the government should rule, how the people should follow, is all in the Bible. From Genesis to Revelation, all the secrets that we need is there. Religious leaders have only one thing to preach, the Bible. They should stay on the Bible and preach the Bible. When we keep on preaching the Bible, there will be an effect in our land. But if we want to be politically correct behind the pulpits, then we are not going to be able to help the country. We should stay on the Bible, whether people want to hear it or they don't want to hear it. We have been ordained to preach the gospel of Christ. We should stay in our lane. When we stay in our lane, we speak to everything that has to do with this country. All right. Thank you very much, Femi Fasheru, Pastor KICC. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank